what you need to know in November. So don't think about it too much, just whichever one resonates with you. Pile one is a woman walking and she can see, she's going, it's like you hold the key to your life and there's a galaxy. It's the affirmation for abundance. I am open to receive all opportunity the, the universe sends me. Pile number two is an affirmation for success. She climbed a mountain and she's at the top. I excel in all that I do and success comes easily to me. And pile number three is the affirmation for love. There are two lovebirds on a heart and love throws, flows through my body, shines in my face and radiates out of me in all directions. So in pile one, pile two and pile three. So pick which one resonates with you and we will get this started. Okay, pile one. What do you guys need to hear? I'm gonna do a reading from Archangel Michael first to see what Archangel Michael would like to tell you. I'll put that up there. This is your November. What is in store for you? What to expect? Pile one. Archangel Michael says, focus upon divine and perfect health. My prayer, God, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they may support my well-being. We are also going to do soul truth. And then I'll pull tarot cards for you guys. Am I communicating my needs? Okay, pile one. This is what you need right now. And then we'll look into the future. Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that you are, what you are fearing is not true? Today's soul action, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter? And do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want when I am communicating my needs? What am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? So that's right now for pile one. Now let's look into November and see what is happening. Pile one, what do you need to know for November?
Okay. Oh, change is coming. Awesome. Okay, for pile one, it looks like you are hanging around, you're waiting for direction, or you're not taking action. And it's time to take action because the world as you knew it is done. That cycle in your life is over. So perhaps you've been afraid to step into your highest self, your true form, and the comfort and the world that you knew it is over. It's time to shift timelines. You're not that person anymore. This card, judgment, if you died today and you looked back on your life, would you be proud of what you've come, what accomplishments you've made, how you've helped humanity, the service? Would you be proud to look back on your life and be like, I did everything I could and I did everything I knew I was supposed to do? The Knight of Wands is an action card. He's going into battle. He's not holding his sword yet, but he's walking and moving into battle. This doesn't have to be battle for you. I'm not getting battle at all. I'm just getting action. action. It's time for action because you're the queen. So you have to take action. You're hanging around. I don't know what you're waiting for. If it's a self-esteem thing, if you need guidance, your angels are here to speak. Don't forget, are you communicating your needs? If you're not communicating your needs, how can you do it better? There were some journal exercises that they gave you because it's not going to, you can't carry on the way you've been doing things. It ha things have to change. It's over. The world is an ending. It's an ending of a cycle. It can be a literal ending, but it's also perhaps you are married. Perhaps you're going through a divorce. Perhaps you need to go through a divorce. Perhaps you need to get married. This is your call to action because you want to look back on your life and be proud of what you've done. And you are going to step into your queen mode. It's like beast mode. I love that for you. Okay, pile one. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you guys later. Okay, if you picked pile two, let's see what November has in store for you. Pile two looks good. Things are going to really, really come together for you. In the month of November, it looks like, well, listen to your intuition. This is an Archangel Michael card, and he's telling you that he is around. So listen, okay? Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Because justice is coming. I don't know if you're involved in illegal. I want to call it a battle. If you are, you're going to come out on the other side victorious. You are in the middle of a fight, and it's probably a legal battle. Could be divorce, it could be custody, it could be land, home. Listen to your intuition, because on the other side of it, you're in the battle right now. And then perhaps you'll be in court. So you'll be, you're in the battle, then you're in court, and you're going to be victorious. 
but you have to listen to your intuition and make sure that you're fighting this out of integrity and integrity. Make sure that you're in this battle for the right reasons. If it's because your ego, you don't want to lose. If it's because you're being stubborn, make sure because you're going to look back on this. Is it something you'll be proud of? Judgment to me is only you judge yourself at the end when if you died today and you got to look back on your whole life, would you be proud of where you are right now? Because the sun's coming out. So it's, it could bring out, if you're doing this without pure intentions, it's all going to get exposed. So just make sure that you're doing it. And if you need to go inside and ask, why am I in the middle of this? Or am I doing this for the right reasons? If it's a yes, then when all of your secrets come out, it won't be a big deal. If it's a no, I would reevaluate because you will win it as long as you listen to your intuition. That was a good group two. Nice job. Let's give you, I'll end this or I'll do an angel card for you so that it'll just kind of wrap it up for you. I'll put this right here. I'm using the Soul Truth cards. What am I grateful for right now? That's what your soul wants you to ask right now. Adapt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote for all of our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that in which we are focused. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful for today. Notice the abundance growing within you. It starts with you. So. Make sure you're paying attention to your thoughts. If you are going down an old tape, like I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, rewrite the script. So there's tons of evidence about this, but if you hold a thought for 17 seconds, you start rewriting the neurotransmitters. So make sure that you're, you're powerful and you're, I feel like your September is going to be awesome. That's what I just keep getting. It's like you're on the right track. You're doing the right stuff. If you're ensnared in a legal battle, things will go well. Just don't forget to listen to that still small voice and make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons and not for anything but love. And would you be proud of yourself if you look back, if you died today and you look back on your life? I said, man. Or, man, I'm glad I did that. That kind of thing. All right, group two, that was quicker than I thought. So now we'll move on to group three. If you picked pile three, then we are going, I'm just gonna clear this. Light some sage. Okay, group three, you guys are going to start off with loving words of Jesus. What would Jesus like to tell you? Well, we had a jumper. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. I like that. I love the loving words of Jesus. I love him. So let's see here. Have faith in God. If you don't like the God word, if you have religious trauma or drama around the God word, substitute it for universe or source, goddess, whatever you feel comfortable with. That's Mark eleven twenty two. Have faith in God and 
the one that jumped was Matthew 25. Oh, I should show you 25, 21. And it says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So those are the loving words of Jesus. What else do you guys need to know? See what's going on with your soul path. These are called soul journey lesson cards. And they would like to tell you. Gratitude. Oh, that was group two. Pile two got gratitude too. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. That's an affirmation for you. So let's see what Tara would like to tell you. Okay, pile three, the tarot for November, what to expect. Oh, are you traveling? Oh, are you coming through some heartbreak? Oh, this is a good, this is cool. Okay, four pile three. You, let's see here. Well, you got the chariot. So if you have a planned trip, if you don't, perhaps you're getting a new car. This is any mode of transportation. Back in the 15th century or whenever these were made. I did find something that said like in 11th century, they, I think it went all the way back to Atlantis. That's my personal opinion. I've read something in the, in the, okay, I can't say that. So what, I would suggest for November, if you're traveling, maybe something, a uh, part of your life, like a chapter is coming to an end. The world is the end. So that's the end of a phase of chapter. Perhaps you're getting married. Perhaps you're graduating from college. Perhaps you're getting a divorce. A chapter is coming to an end and you're leaving. You've shown great strength. Whether you feel strong or not, you showed grace. This is She's holding the mouth of a lion and she's, it's almost like she tamed a lion. So it's grace and it's like honor. You handled this. Oh, perhaps it's a breakup, actually. This is the ultimate heartbreak, broken heart. This is like, usually three people are involved in this. Well, there's three swords. That's a trinity too. It's divine. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But I'm guessing that since you're leaving and something's coming to an end, it's because of broken heart. But you showed grace and you showed dignity. Be very, very, very gentle with yourself. Oh, okay. You didn't really know where you were going to go. You've been waiting for this to come to an end or a conclusion. You're waiting around, hanging around. And now you're going on an adventure and you get to be the little fool. The little fool is optimistic. He doesn't know that you can have your heart broken yet. He's never had anything but his mom and dad and his, he hasn't had anything happen yet. So go into this with the eyes of a fool. The fool in the 15th century term, not in the fool term today. And keep your eye open for an offer. Oh, perhaps a new love interest. If you're a female, then a male may be coming. And if you're a male, then a female. Because it's all the um, climax of this ch chapter or phase in your life are all coming to an end. So you can... 
be very gentle with yourself. You did a really good job of handling this with grace. And you have all light cards here. If you need some affirmations to practice, because rebuilding after this heartbreak, it, it can be, it's difficult in my experience. But it's all coming to an end. So stay open-minded and very gracious with yourself. You did as, you did as well as you could at that time. It's not a handbook. I mean, I'm sure there are handbooks on it, but be proud and practice gratitude every day to keep your thoughts focused. Don't twirl out in like writing your own narratives because that's not what the energy around it is. The energy around it is grace and dignity and stay open-minded, practice gratitude so that either your king or your queen can come in. And feels good to have that over. That felt like a long, hard road, but you did it. All right, team. Good luck. That sounds like a fun November for our pile three. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you so much for coming. And I'll see you next time.